the carbon credit market in Australia was booming. But secret documents obtained by the ABC show the Liberal government decided to intervene just before the election, ignoring grave warnings from experts. Carbon credits are a key way for Australia to reduce its emissions. They're created when companies plant trees and reduce land clearing to offset emissions that can't be eliminated. Initially, companies had to sell the credits to the Commonwealth for $12 a tonne for 10-year contracts. Last year, the government allowed companies to also sell some credits on the open market, and the price jumped to $55. But in March, the then Energy Minister, Angus Taylor, suddenly announced he was ripping up all the Commonwealth's 10-year contracts. Experts cautioned that decision could cease investment in new projects immediately and for the next five years, strand $500 million in projects from Telstra and BHP and reduce demand for carbon credits. It's important to understand these are projects that are three to five years in generation. Industry expert John Connor was one of those warning the government that tearing up the contracts could undermine the system. Once companies were able to break their 10-year contracts, this increased supply and lowered the price. That made polluting cheaper, while giving private companies the ability to gain billions in extra profits. This was a disappointing um, period for the, the minister, the government and the, the, the regulator, and uh, I hope we've all learned some lessons about better process. A spokesperson for Angus Taylor said the decision was made on the advice of the Energy Department and the Clean Energy Regulator in order to increase the supply of credits. The regulator says the experts' warnings were based on worst-case scenarios that didn't materialise. The new government has announced a review due by the end of the year. Daniel Ziffer, ABC News.